$8,000. Scratch number three, Ernie's Mac. Post time in six minutes. Let's meet the starters for the ninth. Number one, Incredibilocity, owned by William Bo DeLong of Clinton, Wisconsin. He's the trainer. Pat DeLong is the driver. Number two, Jerry's Boy, is owned by Dr. Peter Karras of Sherman, trained by Adrian Price, Jr., and he is in the bike. Number three, Ernie's Mac is scratched. Number four is Obu, owned by John David Finn and Gene Maples of Newton, trained and driven by J.D. Finn. Number five, Last Draw, owned by Brian Larson, originally of Champaign-Urbana, now of Springfield. He's the trainer, and David Gibbs is in the bike. Number six will be BR Time, owned by DuCoin's Gene Melville. Ray Gash is the trainer driver. Number seven, Sharky, is owned by Dr. Donald McVean of Macomb, trained by Danny Moore. The driver is Ron Marsh. Number eight, Wendy Image, is owned by Sam and Shirley Glossop of Ardmore, Alabama, trained by Sam Glossop, the driver, Tom Simmons. Number nine, Pumpkin Eater, owned by Melody Caldwell of Ripley, Tennessee, trained by Ray Gash. The driver is Roy Finn. And number 10, Feel the Flame, is owned by Dee Phillips of Petersburg, Shelley Phillips of Springfield, and also by Carrie Ferguson of Cantrell, trained by Mike Rogers, and Mike Rogers is the driver. We call your attention to the fact that number six and number nine are both trained by Ray Gash, but race uncoupled for betting purposes due to bona fide separate ownership, and post time for the ninth race is less than five minutes away. And would not be the youngest driver ever to win a county fair challenge. That honor currently belongs to Tim Tietrich, who won a couple of these races at age 18. But Pat would certainly rank as one of the youngest. Here they come for the ninth race at DuCoin. They are off and pacing. Windy Image for the lead with BR Time also showing speed, followed by Incredibilocity down toward the rail, who will benefit with a ground-saving trip around the first turn. Incredibilocity moves up to lead it by a length. BR Time second. Obu goes third. Windy Image up on the outside fourth. Then Jerry's Boy. Last draw. Sharky, Pumpkin Eater, and Feel the Flame is last as they go toward the quarter. BR Time is still parked. Everyone else is single file against the rail. Incredibilocity hits the quarter in 27-4. and four. He's He's on top by a length and a half. Obu goes second. BR Time is parked third, just over two lengths off the lead. Then Wendy Image, Jerry's Boy, and Last Draw, followed by Sharky Feel the Flame and Pumpkin Eater at the back. It is nine lengths from front to back, approaching the half. Incredibilocity sets the tempo, leading Obu by a length. BR Time is moving up on the outside, but still parked in second by a head. Further back, Jerry's Boy moves up with cover around the outside of Windy Image. They reach the half in 57 seconds flat. Incredibilocity leads it at the entry to the far turn by just over a length. Obu second, a half length, the BR Time. Jerry's Boy is going three wide from fourth, two lengths off the lead. Another length and a half back to Sharky, who's three wide on the far turn. Feel the flame moves up behind him. At the three quarters, Incredibilocity leading Jerry's Boy by a length and a half. Then Obu, Sharky, and last draw comes out of a crowd of horses in the fifth, but he's seven lengths from the front. Three quarters and 125 and two. Incredibilocity leading. Obu by two lengths. Jerry's boy is lingering third. Sharky is fourth and last draw is fifth. Incredibilocity chased by Obu who comes to the outside and then Sharky in the center of the track is third. Obu tries to crunch. Incredibilocity. Obu with a final try. Incredibilocity short lead. Sharky is third. Incredibilocity still leads it. Obu coming. Here's the line. Incredibilocity hangs on by a head. Obu was second and Sharky was third in 154 and two. That is a photo for the win at DuCoin. Photo finish for the win. Hold all tickets here in the ninth race. Ladies and gentlemen, still waiting for a result of the photo. Moving into the winner's circle, the horse who appeared to get there by a head. Number one, Incredibilocity, 20-year-old Pat DeLong. Bobby Dexter making the presentation of the trophy, still waiting for a result of the photo, but Incredibilocity appeared to get there by a head. Incredible finale, Colt, owned by William Bo DeLong of Clinton, Wisconsin. We're going to talk to Bobby Dexter, who presented the trophy here 
in the winner's circle for this race as we wait for that photo. Pat, congratulations, 20 years of age, out of Clinton, Wisconsin, driving for father Bo DeLong, who owns and trains this two-year-old. Bobby, come on up here just for a second. While we're waiting for a result of that photo, we're just telling the crowd, Bobby, that you stood right here and accepted that trophy a year ago with Fox Valley Jacob. You've been a big supporter of Illinois harness racing, and like the DeLongs, you don't live in Illinois, but you have raced here and invested a lot of money in this program. Why is that? Well, I've been in here 51 years Wow! in the Illinois program. Over a half century, yes. and you've enjoyed it, haven't you? I enjoyed it very much. Bobby, uh, we've asked a lot of people about this, still waiting for that photo to come up. We've asked horsemen, owners, and trainers, and drivers all week their impressions of night racing at DeCoin. You've been coming here to the races for many, many years. What are your thoughts on night racing? That's the best thing that ever happened for the DeCoin State Fair. He's done a great job running the fair this year, the general manager. And you would recommend we go night racing again? Next, next year, same thing. That sounds good. Bobby, thank you very much. And that result of the photo should be coming up very shortly.